Hello my dear doers, welcome back to our UDA 18 module development series. For today's topic, let's discuss about wizards in UDA 18. An UDA wizard is a special type of form used to interact with users through pop-ups or dialog boxes. It is commonly used for temporary actions like collecting input, confirming processes, or displaying information without changing the main interface. To give you an example, under the CRM module, click the Generate Leads button. As you can see, a new pop-up or dialog box shows having a title, list of input fields in the body, and in the footer are some actions that you can execute like Generate Leads and Cancel to close the wizard. There are other ways how to open a wizard. You can do that in the Form View button, from the Form Actions, or from the Menu Item. This wizard is draggable so that you can see the information from the main view without closing the wizard. This is beneficial if you forget some information from the main view. Now let's see how we can create a new wizard. One feature that we can add to our app is to be able to share a poll via link or even send it via email with a subject and message. To implement this feature, let's start by creating a new folder wizard. Inside that folder, Create a new file, pollinvite.py. Then import models and fields from Odoo. Creating a new wizard is the same way like creating a new model by creating a new class and inheriting Odoo models. The only difference is that wizards are built using transient model, meaning the data is not stored permanently in the database and will be automatically deleted after a certain time. Let's name the class as pollinvite model name as poll.invite, and same with the description. Then let's add two fields, the poll URL and email as char fields. To register this wizard, we need to create the init file inside the wizard folder and import poll invite. Then from the main init file, let's import the wizard. Restart Odoo, go back to the apps, and upgrade the poll module. To check if it was successfully created, activate the debug mode, open the command palette, and search models from settings, technical, database structure, models. Let's search Paul, and there you go. We have successfully created a new wizard, as you can see on the last column, transient model is true. Let's open it, and these are the fields, Paul URL and email we created. Now let's try to create the record on this wizard. Same with the regular model, we need to create a window action, a menu item, and a security in order to view this model. Under the wizard folder, let's create a new file, pollinviteView.xml. Add the XML declaration and add Odoo as the main element. To create a window action, let's add a new record having ID as action pollinvite. Then add the target model for this record, which is ir.actions.actWindow. Define the name as share poll. The rest model as poll.invite. The view mode as form since this is only a dialog box, as well as the target as new so that it will show as a pop-up or dialog box. If you didn't add a target, this action will be opened from the main view. Next, we need to attach this action to a menu item. Instead of creating the menu item here, let's add it in the main poll menus under the views folder. Let's duplicate the sum menu item, change the ID to menu poll invite, the name to poll invite, the action will be the wizard action we created, which is action poll invite, and the sequence as 20. Lastly, we need to add a security for this wizard so that the menu item will show. Let's duplicate this code and change it to poll invite. Then let's add this wizard to the manifest file under the views. Restart Odoo and upgrade the module. Now let's open the polling menu and there you go. A new menu poll invite is showing and if you click, a new dialog box will show. Now let's improve this view since this is only the default view loaded by Odoo. Under the poll invite view file, let's create a new record with ID poll invite form view 
and target the model ir.ui.view. Let's define the name as poll.invite.formView, the model as poll.invite, and the arms field with type XML. Let's add a form as the parent element, then group the two fields poll URL and email so that the label and input fields will be automatically added. Let's define a new footer with two buttons. The first button will be a share method. In order to call a Python method from the wizard, let's add the type attribute as an object and the name attribute to define the method name as action share. Let's then define this method under the wizard model. And for now, let's just simply add a print statement share. Go back to the button and add a new class btn primary and a string share. For the second button, it will be a discard button. In wizard, every button created will trigger the save method before closing the form. In this case, the cancel will not function as we intended. That's why Odoo added a special attribute with a value as cancel so that the wizard will close without saving the record. Let's restart Odoo, go back and upgrade Paul module. All right, we have successfully loaded our wizard form view with a new body and footer new methods. Now let's add value to the URL, which should be a dynamic that has a reference to a poll question. To achieve that, we need to add a new field related to a poll question by adding a new field poll question ID, which is a many to one field to the model poll.question. After that, we need to set an automatic value to the poll URL based on the question added. We can convert this as a computed field by adding an attribute compute. It accepts a string value, which is the method name that will generate some values to the field. Let's create this method, which must assign value to the poll URL field. For the URL, we need the base URL, which is localhost 8069, slash poll, and slash the ID of the poll question. But this is not dynamic, so we need to use fstring and replace the base URL with the curly brackets. Inside this bracket, let's add a dynamic value. We can easily get the base URL by calling self.getBaseURL method from Odoo base model. Then for the question ID, let's add the field poll question ID. We should only compute this value if there's a poll question being added. Otherwise, make it false or empty. Since we need to use the value of poll question ID, we need to add it as a dependency. This will run the compute method if poll question ID has been changed. Then let's add a poll question ID to the form view. Restart Odoo. Go back and upgrade the module. Go to polling and click poll invite. There you go. Let's select any question and notice that the poll URL is changing based on the poll question selected. Before we do the share method, let's try to add this form to the form action. You can simply do that using the window action. Let's duplicate this code and name the ID as action poll invite form since we will add this to the form action. We only need to add two fields. The first one is the binding model ID which accepts an attribute ref having a value with the module name poll followed by a model and the model name from the database which is poll underscore question. The second field is the binding view types which accepts two view types a form and a list view. But since our wizard only accepts one question, so let's add it only in the form view. Let's go back and upgrade the module. Go to polling, open one question, and go to action. There you go, the window action we added was successfully showing. We have problem though, cause the question ID is still empty. To automatically add the current question, let's add the context default poll question ID having a value active ID. This special keyword will get the current record ID. Let's go to apps, search poll, and upgrade the module. Now let's try. Go to polling and open one question. Go to action, share a poll, and now the current question was added by default. Now let's try to add it to a button to the form header. Let's open poll.py and define a new method action share poll. 
Now instead of creating a window action from XML, let's do that from the Python code. Let's simply return a dictionary with type as ir.actions.actWindow, which is the name of the model. The name as share a poll, rest model as ball.invite, view mode to form, target as new to open it in a dialog box, and a context to set the default poll question ID with the current record using self.id. Let's copy this method and under poll views.xml, let's add a new header to the poll question form view. Let's add a new button with type as an object, paste the method name we just created, add a string as share, and a class b10 primary. Restart Odoo. Let's go back and upgrade the module. Go to polling and open one record. Alright. Now a new button has been added, having the same functionality from the form action. Now you can choose where do you want to open the wizard. Lastly, let's create a simple mail function to the share button. Under poll invite model, let's create a new email using the model mail.mail. Using the create method with the parameter dictionary that consists of email from as the current company email formatting, Email to as the model email field, the subject as poll invite to. Let's use f string, add an open close bracket, and add a dynamic value as the poll question ID that name. Then the body HTML, which is equal to a variable body. Let's create a simple email body before running this code. Use f string and add a dynamic link self that poll URL. Now once this record has been created, let's call the send method. Restart Odoo, go back and click share. Okay, we don't have any error message. Now let's check the list of emails. And there you go, our email has been created with the content we added. Lastly, let's add some attribute to the wizard fields like widget URL for poll URL. The same with the email and make it required. Go back and upgrade the module. Let's open one record. Now the URL is clickable. For now, it's just a simple link. We will create that once we move to the website module. For the email, it's already required and a button link was added on the right side. Click share, check the email, and there you go. All right, that's all for today's session. I hope you learned something. Thank you and see you on my next tutorial.